This easy question can be asked by so many companies, but yeah, it is. Let's see what it says. Again, this is a very easy question. Heads up. Um, now, it says that we are given a singly linked list head. There's a singly linked list. Again, make sure that is very important. There's a singly linked list. What is the property of a singly linked list? The property of a singly linked list is that you can only go on forward from a point. You can only go on forward, not backwards. Remember this point. And we want to delete a node, which is this specific node. Okay. You are given the node to be deleted. This node, which you want to delete, actually, we are given that node. Okay. You will not be given access to the head of the node. So if I say that this is my link list, this is, let's say, my link list, I am saying this is the node which I want to delete. So there is for sure, I cannot, I can no matter what, I cannot access these previous elements because I am never given the head. I cannot go backwards. There's no point. There's no chance. Now, if you remember that you want to delete this specific node, you want to delete this specific node. So for sure, you need to go to the previous node and point its next to this node. That is how you delete this node, right? This is how it happens. But he is saying that you cannot go on to previous nodes. So how you will delete it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But yeah, you got the problem and you got that. Okay, you cannot go on to previous nodes. All the values of a linked list are unique. So he is saying that all these values, let's say it's A, it's B, it's C, it's D, it's E, it's F. So all values will be actually unique. And it is guaranteed that the given node is not the last node of the linked list. And it's also guaranteed that this node, this node is not the last node. This is not the last node. And why he is saying that? He is saying it is not the last node, which means he will for sure have a next. So this node will for sure have a next node. This is what he is trying to infer that he is not the last node. And that also will be very useful. Make sure all these points will add up that he will for sure have the next, which means nodes next will for sure be present. That will for sure be a node value. Now we have to delete the given node as we have mentioned already. Note that deleting the node, we do not mean removing it from the memory. Now they came to the point that when they are saying that then when they are saying that they have to delete this node, they are not saying that to delete it from the memory. Nah. Which means they are not saying to remove this node. Uh -huh. nah. They mean something else by deleting the node. They mean that the value of the given node should not exist in the linked list. Ah. So they say they are saying that this value D which was there, it should not be in the linked list. That's it. That's what they, that's all what they wanted. Okay. The number of nodes in the linked list should also decrease by one. Okay. D should not be there. And the number of nodes in linked list should also reduce by one because we are deleting one node. He's not saying to delete this node only. He is saying he is saying remove any node from the linked list. It's just that reduce number of nodes by one. That's it. Okay, all the values before the node should be in the same order. Okay, all the values before it should be in the same order and they will always be in the same order because we cannot even touch them. That's that's a fact. And all the values after node should be in the same order. And also afterwards, if I have a EF, EF, so it should also be in the same order EF. That also I should not, like I should not jumble the order and I will for sure not touch the orders, obviously. So they have just given some custom testing and stuff. Now, if you focus on these two points only, so you know that you don't want D value to be there on this node. So it's obvious that I can place at this location D, I can place any other value. I know I can only access the forward element. So it is obvious that I will place the just next value because again, I can place E, F, G, I can place any values on this node D. Why I'm placing? Because I want to make sure I'm removing this node. So I'll simply place it. Okay. I'll simply place it, place E. Now, okay, after placing it, I know that the value is changed. Value D is no more there. I also need to make sure that I remove one of the node from the link list. Making sure the order will still remain same. Now, as you have already known, to delete a node from the link list, you need a previous node the current node and then you just point its next to the next of next node. 
This is how you delete a node. If I show you a normal deletion of a node in a linked list, how this normal deletion happens is that you have, let's say, these nodes. This is, let's say, your node. And you want to delete this specific node you want to delete. So what do you do? Do you know that this is nodes next? So what do you do? This is the node. You will point its next to this next. This next. You will point it which is this next. So you will say that this nodes, this node next, which means this node, this node next, next, this, this, this arrow. It should actually point to my next nodes next. This is my next node, which is node next already. Whatsoever its next is there. I should start pointing my current next to that next. This is how I can simply remove this connection. Remove this connection. And again, make sure not to delete it. Although you have freed up the memory, but don't delete it because it is internal of lead code. If you delete it, it, it might actually end up giving you an error. Although in interview and stuff, you can delete it, but not on lead code as a platform, right? Okay. So with this, you will delete this node and you will start pointing to its next node. And the fact that this node will not be null because we remembered that node next will actually be a node. So I can for sure remove that node. There's no null node. So there will no null pointer exception here. So it's the reason I can easily remove this next node and I will start pointing it to the its next next. So what I did, I did two operations. First operation is that I said that this nodes value it should becomes whatsoever next element is there. I know element will be there. So I will say nodes next. Just take its value. That is how I got the value. Now other operation was okay. I, I have deleted my D, which is the value. Make sure to also delete one node. I will delete its next node. I will say simply that my simple nodes next will become my existing nodes next next which is this node. So this will go away from the picture and I will simply point into my F and that's it. All the conditions are satisfied and that's the answer. So if you go and look at the code, this is your answer. Both time and space is O of 1. That's it. And I was surprised how this again, this is just how you read between lines and see what is required actually. Cool. I have, I hope you guys got it. See you. Bye. Take care.